Donald Trump, he will be in Michigan tomorrow. He'll be in Wisconsin Tuesday. These are big battleground states, Hogan, as you know. Uh, and, well, Biden's been getting, you know, a lot of backlash in Michigan. Uh, but they're trying to really focus the attention on issues like abortion, January 6th, where Trump is clearly saying, hey, we need to focus on the issues that right now impact us immediately, crime and immigration. Yeah, and that's exactly what Mark was talking about. Those America First policies, those Make America Great Again mantras that pointed to the, the implementation of, of prescriptions that actually helped Americans have a better life, not just here uh, in, the, in the immediate day and time, but also in the future. And, and this administration, Joe Biden, has undone everything positive that Donald Trump has done, and all these problems are happening because of him. These are his problems it's his fault. It's his policies. And the American people, whether they, live, whether they live in Michigan or Pennsylvania or Wisconsin or Arizona or Georgia or any swing state, not to mention the rest of the states out there, have been forced to get kicked in the teeth now for the better part of four years because of these policies. Yeah. Your life is not better now. In fact, it's a lot worse because of Joe Biden. They Wait. know it. And that's why Joe Biden is so terrified and why he's in trouble politically. Yeah, but yet he keeps doing these things in full display. Um, and you're right on all of these counts. But there's a photo here. He's leaving New York, skipped the, the funeral in the wake. Hunter's in tow. Another weekend off at Camp David. Uh, they don't even reach out to the officer or attempt. To, and we know when Kathy Hochul arrived, she was turned away. And then the Easter visibility tranny day. So, I mean, at the end of the day, Mark, you have to wonder, uh, the campaign is... Are they not worried about all these all these optics and all the press? At least some press will cover it, like we will hear. But it seems like they're just, um, they think they're above it all. Well, they think that they have two uh, single issues that trump everything else. Uh, and I use that word oh. literally. <laughs> and they don't. I mean, they think all they have to do is say abortion and J6. You talk about the border, they say J6. You talk about inflation, you know, they say abortion. Uh, that's the only message they have because they can't win on any other policy. So they're stuck with Joe Biden. They're stuck with just these two issues. And the fact is, is that these two issues aren't the dominating issues right now. They're not going to be able to change the subject no matter how hard they try. No, uh, and even all the lawfare, I mean, we're going to see these cases and we're going to see the challenges, which seem very valid. Trump submitted a formal application to the Fulton County uh, judge there after he allowed Willis to remain on the case. Uh, you know, Hogan, so we also have that part that they're going to be running to try and, um, you know, dismiss this. But it is breaking open where people are clearly seeing why was Fannie Willis's Nathan Wade? Why were they at the White House? What, where was their coordination? Where is this coming from? Why is Bragg's case now and not three years ago if they cared so much? Well, the weaponization of three-letter agencies and the government against a citizen just because they disagree with him politically and just because he's beating them in the polls and is the front runner is their opposition. You know, this is so obvious now, not just to us, but it's starting to permeate around the country as well. People who don't really pay attention to politics except on the periphery, they're looking at this and going, wait a minute. You keep saying you had a smoking gun in Russia. Nothing happened. You keep saying, you know, that you had a smoking gun on all these other cases. None of these things are, are coming to fruition. In fact, as you said, Bianca, they're starting to fall apart and crumble because you're seeing all the motivation, uh, politically uh, motivated people going after Donald Trump in their roles that are supposed to be nonpartisan. They're supposed right. to be paying attention solely to the law, and they aren't. They're terrified of Trump. They're terrified of a second term. So they're trying to drain him of resources. They're trying to keep him in the news and muddy the water so that the Gag independents orders. may or may not vote for him and potentially convict him, which is never going to happen because he didn't do anything wrong. Well, I appreciate the insight today. Obviously, um, what happened yesterday on Easter and uh, Resurrection Day has gotten a lot of attention. And we'll be watching Trump very closely in Michigan and see how the voters react as well. Hogan Gidley, Mark Lauder, pleasure to see you both. Thanks, gentlemen.